Hello virtual art students. Today we're going to talk about watercolor paints. What do you know about watercolors already? What do you want to know? Here's some artists that are famous for watercolors. Albert Dreyer, James Whistler, Tony Couch, Paul Klee, Edward Hopper, and Georgia O'Keeffe. How do watercolor paints look different than other paints or even other art materials that are out there? Watercolors are paints that mix with water. Watercolor paintings are known for being like stain and transparent or see-through. The more water you use, the more that you can see through it. They're easy to mix and quick to dry. Be careful when it comes to watercolors though because they can spread quickly and you can't erase. To create watercolors, you use paints. They can sometimes come in tubes. You also need brushes. They come in different sizes and shapes. Don't be afraid to experiment. You also need some water and paper. Make sure it's watercolor paper with little bumps or heavier paper, otherwise your paper might tear when getting wet. Some ways that you can apply watercolor are, are to create a wash which involves getting your brush very wet in water and then getting your color very wet, maybe dipping it back in the water. And this becomes a very clear looking little layer of color and it's easy to mix together, good for sunsets. Another method is wet on dry. Where you, you start with getting your paintbrush really, really wet and adding it to the dry paper. It spreads out very, very easily. Dry on wet, or wet on dry starts with adding wet water to an area and adding your color on top of the wet puddle to spread out. Dry brush, like its name, involves a dry brush with little water to no water. The marks are usually darker and easier to control. It's also an interesting way which you can make texture. You can also experiment with different materials to create cool effects. For example, if you have wet paint, you can try sprinkling some salt over it. What happens is the salt sucks up some of the moisture and it leaves a cool little crystal effect. You can also try splatter painting, where you take a brush full of paint and color and you flick it onto the paper. Be mindful of what's going on around you though. It gets messy quick. You can also create a very wet puddle then grab a straw or just blow it through your mouth and you can create a cool little splatter effect that way. Try using Sharpies or crayons. Experiment with doing it before or after. Little tip with the crayons, press hard or you can dab it up a little bit to make it see through. You don't want a thick dark layer it's too hard and covers up the crayons. How 
also tried dabbing it up with different things and materials. A couple of examples are Kleenex. You could also use paper towel, cotton balls, or even plastic wrap. Each one creates a cool, different, really crazy effect. Finally, you can use tape or scissors or contact paper to block off an area, paint over it. When it's dry, peel it off. What else can you do with watercolors? When you have a great idea, grab your watercolor paper, come up with a plan. If you need to draw, draw lightly. An experiment. Combine these different ideas to create one unique picture. Don't be afraid to let it dry and sit for a while and paint over it. Remember, the key is just to experiment. I can't wait to see what you create.